Two. Young Hartford. Now Solidy. He's got Owen up there with him. Here's Owen. And a goal! One minute. Owen has scored. Oaks. Beautiful ball to Bell. And Summerby moving around very intelligently. And a goal! A goal scored by Lovett. He's put through his own goal. Is it Bell or Lee going to take it? No, Lee. To Bell, to Summerby, to Lee. Oh, what a goal! Oh. Perfection and leave the corner. Love it, Drake is in. Chris Wickey away is a chance. Yes, it must be. Yes, they won. Chris Wickey has scored. Oh, it. Some of you on the right with Lee. Lee now to Doyle. The young. Oh, no, that one. Five. Young has scored. Oaks to Bell. In moves some of it. Lee. Six more. Now, modern technology would show... In fact, Leeds won two of those trophies. The Fairs Cup final, again held over, saw Leeds in dark shirts, beat Ferenc Varos in the first leg at Ellen Road, thanks to that scrambled goal by... 25 minutes left in this match, still no score. The news of Frank Clark, the Queen's Park going to centre forward, he's got a twisted knee, it's not thought to be too serious. Big fellow, Clark, and Clark, coaching there on the edge of the box, gets the sort of goal he's been bought for. Ian Morgan, Allen, Sibley, Ian Morgan, Sibley making the extra man on the right. Ali are going into the middle, Ford there, and Ford is going to take it. And it's the no goal! The Kaliog is claiming it. Well, the Kaliog is the scorer. See the meter come over top from player. England going on the far side of the penalty box, being shadowed by war boys. In moves England, he's got hold of it, <laughs> On the edge of the penalty area, the fair-haired fellow, that's Mobley, number five, in the dark shirt. Now shadowed by Chivers. <laughs> Keane is up there as well, it goes to Keane, it goes to Bridges, a goal! A goal! I wonder if Manchester City are wondering at this moment how on earth do we beat this boy Kelly. Perhaps there's another chance coming up with this corner. Doyle's trying his luck. And it's there! They have beaten him! I don't know why they did that. I suppose Willie Carling could have done this just as good as Woodward here. But there it goes. It's a good one. Oh, it's a goal! Yes! 
There's no doubt about that one. A very nicely floated center. And a goal headed very well there by Colin Addison. Red Dan Peterson has both waiting in the middle. This is Peters. Surely, yes. Eighteen minutes gone. And Peters puts West Ham United into the lead. There's Peters laying it off for Hurst. Sissons. This is Hurst. And Redknapp. Lee Mill. Finding Peters now, Hurst. In comes Redknapp. That's one first. Peters, four. Peters has scored. Jones now for Greaves. He's still there with a chance. And he's there by Greaves. Hunt with a chance. Oh, he had a chance of a good pass out to Thompson on the right. But Leeds have got it. Bremner, a quick one. It's trouble, Sam. Yes! Jones through! Oh, well taken! That's the final goal for Leeds United. Only finding Davis. There's Tommy Gibb. Davis. And Gibb, beautiful running by Gibb. Todd, Harris. Breaking on the left now. Finding Mulhall. And here's a chance for Suggett. And it's a goal! What a goal by Colin Suggett! Alan Bertinol, the man who committed the foul. The man who is foul number two, right. Paul Morrissey! And it's Morrissey puts them in the lead after two and a half minutes. And he's hurt. So West trying to em emulate Benetti as Osgood takes the penalty for Chelsea, the second penalty of the match. times that Salmons has failed to beat this back. He's taken him on and beaten him almost every time. And surely a goal, yes. That was scored by Woodward. Reese and Woodward were both there. Woodward scored it. Ron Atkinson, for all his years, still works as hard as anybody. A shooker. Bevan. Clark. And a chance for the equaliser. And it's scored by Graham Atkinson. Hard work brought that goal.
Zucker. And he scored! He took that beautifully! I think Hodgkinson was upset by Paddy Wagstaff himself. Peters again! Oh, superb goal by Peters! Still he goes on England. Greaves! Oh, Greaves! Again. Still the pressure is on Leeds United. Cooper. Just 10 minutes left. And Chelsea coming back very heavily on defence now. Brooking. It's Peter! It must be a foul in his goal. By Peters. Best doing very well. He's got Law up there. And he scored! Best. Beaten by Best. A little bit on his own, but that might be all that's needed. Now he's got Morgan. Up comes Law. Oh, the screaming goal from Law. What a magnificent goal by Dennis Law. And it's a goal. Nevertheless, a very good effort by... Young McDonald. Oh, what a terrible throw by Blacklaw Large, and Blacklaw's in dead trouble. Haynes and McDonald score. Well, Blackburn have only themselves to blame. Newton. Blackburn beginning to push Fulham back now. Number four, Rogers. There's the equaliser. Beautifully scored by Martin. Martin, number eight. Clements having a good old barging contest on the line. Good fisting away. This is caught. <laughs> Time will be in difficulties here trying to cover this. It's a difficult angle to cover. They're trying to form a wall. They've got one, two, three, four, five men in the wall. Only four now. Leeds take it quickly. Similar situation as this, it was a corner, but a similar situation he his their goal in Buenos Aires. And that's Vero! Oh dear! For United, number 11, Vero the witch. 1-0 to Estudiantes, and only five minutes of the game gone. What a tragedy for United defence then. And George Best. George Best is off the field looking as though he's been sent off. And there it is! That's one back for number seven, Willie Morgan. Well, it's 1-1 one, one now. Willie Morgan has levelled the score here tonight. It's a good one to go! Roger Hunt, one of the most dangerous players in the world. 
much time. If you want to get one before half time. Yes, Greaves and get on one. They're arguing. Alan Mallory and Terry Venables were deciding who to t who was going to take it and what they were going to do. And I thought, well, this is a waste of time because they're arguing. And, and neither of them knew, and I thought, well, let's get the ball in the back of the net and we'll worry about it afterwards, and that's what happened. This one was featured on Yorkshire Television's brand new Sunday soccer programme. Addison, well, you can see that the first... Oh, a chance! A chance! That's it! Ameson! The Cowshed faithful would get plenty more goals to cheer, although Paul Ameson, scorer of this one, had left Leeds Road by the start of the following season. He went to join Tom Johnson at York. Well, I was talking about Standard trying to cool the pace down. They've certainly cooled it down with that goal. Jackie Charlton, a great goal! And that's 2-1. to 2-1, one. Two to one. they need two more goals. Can they get them? in avanti da Riviera De Sissi Rivas Rete ha segnato Rivas Italia 1 Galles 0 44esimo del primo tempo Di Charlton oh, football inside the full back to best United seem to have recovered so well from that flurry after Leach had scored for the for Rangers. Here's Perrin to Law, and it's there, number three by Law. At first, it's hard to see what happens in this one, but if you look, the goalkeeper actually punches the ball into his own net. Same match, Man City, Nottingham Forest, exactly the same cock up coming up. Defender takes the blame this time, though, having a little nap. Oscar back to Osgood. Ball in Osgood, a fine move and the second goal. Stevenson. That's a clever, cool piece of play by Hazel. And on a bad ball, a very good one indeed to Bridges. And it's a goal! Bridges to Brookie. Now Bobby Moore. They've got to go for more soon. A shot for goal! But it's a corner to West Ham. Brooking. And Peters! It's down! Bobby Moore to take it. And Hurst waiting to sprint in there! Beautiful goal! By Hurst! Magnificent combination again by West Ham. The quickly taken free kick by Moore, low and to the near post, and Hurst was moving before Moore had taken the kick. Good challenging there by Bridges, and a good pass up the wing here for Wilkes. Morgan's waiting in the middle as Morgan is also neat. A beautiful goal!
This game really is wide open now because Rangers are so full of fight and so full of spirit and this afternoon full of very promising football as well. It's a good shot by Keane! A magnificent goal by Keane! By uh, Leach! Leach again! Well, I wonder what Ron Greenwood, the West Ham United manager, there he is on the right, sitting there, never shows his emotion, but he must be thinking all sorts of things at the moment, having seen his side give away a two-goal lead. Hurst to Redner! Oh, what a goal! Oh, what a fantastic goal by Redner! Well, obviously, they're not going to be content with defensive play, this Austrian team. They lost against West Germany, and that's a goal! A goal for Austria! After two and a half minutes, and number six, Staric, has made it. Gibran has scored! Has scored! Yes, Law has scored! Law has scored! It's after six minutes. Get up! And the ball! There's Brian Kidd getting the congratulations. In goes Lobbing! The shot being pulled out of the middle! And it's Law getting in for a beauty! Getting in inside Nordahl, and in spite of the fact that his shot was full, he still gets in the header. Good toothpaste advert there from Nobby Styles. Running forward and suddenly leapt in the air without any real propulsion. Kid, Satori! Curtis to take the free kick. And surely, some there. It's Tees. Well, both Tees and Freezy had about three stands at that one. Simkin for Hull, he's got Butler there with him, this is Butler. Chilton waxed up, and it's a goal, yes, it is a goal. And it's Wagstaff who's done it, his 99th goal for Hull City. Throw to West Ham, Moore running on very well for that throw from Sissons. Pictures from West Ham in the 60s were always very fuzzy, but not fuzzy enough to spare the blushes here. Again, could have happened to anyone, but it happened to him. And that makes him feel a hell of a lot better. Oh, the close-up's nice as well. Thanks, Director. And now Sissons racing for all he's worth to take this ball from Charles. Hurst is up there with him now, and so is Peters steaming up. Hurst is really travelling. And Peters... Chase and Manley as well. He's out on with Manley and Woolett there. But dear, good play by dear. Oh, oh, beautiful, dogged and determined play by Brian Deer. And so this crafty 
customer, Johnny Giles, to take the penalty for Leeds United. on the right wing. Oh, what a great goal! A beautiful goal by Royal. What a goal by this 19-year-old Joe Royal. Both these teams are beginning to tire. One doesn't wonder at that. What a how fit they are, and they both are superbly fit. It's a tremendous test of stamina. Is Charlton. Maitley and Gray. Oh, so bad about that. Well, now, Preston North End face another dicey moment. Oh, that's it. John Tudor got his first goal. John Shooter headed it in, no doubt about it. Almost his first touch of the ball, and he scored a goal. Oh, nice play there. Badger and uh, Shooter getting in each other's way. There's Woodward. The Sheffield United looking more, much more impressive. And there's a goal! The right half, Jimmy McNabb. That's, a, that's the best own goal I've seen for a long time. They're not shackling them tight enough. There's another one. As we said, exactly the same situation, but the scorer this time, Wagstaff. Oh, sorry, Gil Reese. And a free kick to Sheffield United. Now, the Sheffield fans will be expecting another goal quite soon. There hasn't really been any sign of it yet in the second half, but it might come here. Chance! Still got a chance. It's a goal, yes. We anticipated it rightly. Pierced Venables. And a nice movement, and Grease is moving on it. And it's in the post, and it's in! at this little man again always creeps in and takes the half opportunity over in East London Hurst and Peters were still working the oracle at the near post at Upton Park Here's Peters in moves Hurst free kick to West Ham Hurst Peters, the ball! These two are just like brothers. Well, the cry from the crowd of handball, the referee right on the spot there. Good running by Ritson. Mistake by Smith. Chance for Ritson, also got Byram up there. Goes Byram, and a goal. Terrible mistake by Jimmy Smith. And Byron gets the touch as he went in there. Hawkins. John Byron. Rimmer. Good running by Rimmer. And number two. Good running by Rimmer. And a good through ball played to him. So, 2-0 to Bolton and 41 minutes gone. Terry Wharton, two men up, needs a long ball. He's going to get it. Williams looks suspiciously offside, but it stands. I must say, he did look suspiciously offside, but I said it needed a long ball and it came. And Williams allowed the chance to make it 3-0 for Bolton, which ought really to sew the game up for them. 
Irvine asking someone to move, come towards him. Irvine, and a nice one by Willie Irvine from Ross's Cross. 27 minutes of the second half and his first goal since October the 9th. As Rimmer. Played 24 first team games last season. Terry Wharton with the free kick. Coming to Byram, now to Hill. Oh, and they all stood and watched him. Byram is the goal scorer, but everybody stood and watched him. I looked at the linesman, the flag was down. He beat Saul, who tried to be too many men. There's Brian Robson. Number eight for Newcastle, Johnny shot. Got Gabriel with him, and Wynn Davis has beaten Gabriel. Good play by Wynn Davis. And there's the second, and there's Ryan Rupton's second goal. And now Pierce again, found a little bit of room for himself. Trying to go past court. Very good play. It's a goal by Greaves. By Greaves. Giles, opening up, situation opening up. Chance, that's it! Scorer is Lorimer. Oh, that's Perukov. It's one against one there. He's got a real chance. for the only slip they've made. Charlton again. Oh, yes! Bell! Bell! Hurst! That's it! Tonight's mainly O'Grady going down the left wing. Jones to Gray. And it's a goal. Scored by Gray. And Cushley slipped with no chance of challenging him. Butler. Oh, good one. A great goal. A really good goal for Hull City. Well, a low cross there. Free kick. There it goes, a good one. But Hull giving nothing away, and Swagstaff. Billy Leg to sold himself there. Chance! And that's another one. Huddersfield have fallen for the same trick twice. A low ball at the near post, and there was Chilton again to side foot that in. Wagstaff. Simpkin. Oh, he's got it back, a chance, and that's it. That's that third, that's nailed a coffin lid on Huddersfield time. Number 10, David Lill hammered that home. New score, Liverpool and this wave, the tech comes again. It's there! You had to pay a lot of money. Coffee, the Draper, Andrews, oh, he's...
It's in. Raper's the scorer. Raper, number eight, finished it off. Bit of a scramble. Andrews just didn't control it properly when he got the pass. It stuck in the mouth a bit, and he couldn't take it with him, but they managed to scramble it in. Love John. Jeffrey. There it is, a goal, Weber. As we said earlier on, Weber looked their most danger player, but he had a sitter there close to him, right across the goal mouth. He took it very well. No messing about, slammed it in with his right foot. There's the score. Radford won. Doncaster won. Five minutes to go, Tommy Singleton. Oh, it's a good one. Andrews, the scorer. A really good on the turn, hit it on the fly. And the European champions looking at front, a might worry. This is Alan Pinkney. Good ball. A lovely goal. And it's there. A lovely goal. Alan Banks is the scorer. What a goal. Stepney was left absolutely stranded. And now with only a couple of minutes remaining in this first half, Manchester United have a free kick. It's a fair way out. About 30 yards out, close to the touchline. Sartori to Frankie Burns. Best. Tackle by Brian Sharples. The ball is over. It's a good one. And it's Fitzpatrick over to the net. Fitzpatrick it is who came flatting through with only one minute left in this first half. That's a shattering blow for Exeter City who've been holding Manchester United right through the half. Fitzpatrick came through beautifully to put that ball in the net. Done. Good one. And it's in the net. Well, to me as though Georgie Best touched that one as it went through. Dennis Law put his hands on the air, but I reckon it was Georgie Best's header that flicked that one past. It's Patrick now. Best again. It's Patrick. There's Best. And it's come loose. Dennis Law with a shot. And this time it's in the net from Brian Kidd. Exeter City's defence has now folded up. Two chances on that. Dennis Law had the first shot. Brian Kidd had the second. It was Kidd who scored. Royal back to ball. Really was magnificent to watch. Royal and a goal by Hurst. Oh, that one was slotted through the eye of a needle. Three minutes to go before half time. Hurst the scorer. Norman Hunter, a line of four and two men further ahead. Jones coming in! And a very simple goal for Jones. And Stepney nowhere near that cross. A good cross. George Best with a bit of room for a change. Satori. Charlton, and a goal! A goal by Charlton. And Manchester United rewarded for their greater aggression. Charlton picking up 
the rebound of the cross ball. And we've got a quarter of an hour left for a decision. And only a fool or a genius will put money on it. Grady going for the return. No! Oh, what a goal! Oh, what a goal! Campbell, what a good ball to Curtis. T's calling for it in the middle in the air. Tracy! Oh, Tracy again getting in there, flicking it on the team against the post, missed there by Matt Tease. They got away with it now, Pickering. Lawther. Lawther. And that's a goal. That was a very soft goal for the visitors, scored by number seven. Bruce Stahl going to take the throw. Let's see if he can throw a long one. Yes. And a corner kick. Halifax Town leading by one goal to nil. And Bradford City again wasting a man out there at a corner kick. There's no use having him out there. He's not going to do something. And that's the goal. That's the equalizer. That's another rather soft goal. Just a half step and now here's Scott for Newcastle. Now Robson with a kick. Brian Robson, it's a good one. They're all in there, Davis, and it's there. Will Davis has scored. Too much energy for a fullback. You've got to get out of there, you know. And he pushed me into midfield. There's Dogan in England. And it must be it! Jimmy Greaves! Jimmy Greaves got it! Tudor, and there it is! There it is! John Tudor, very early in the game. And as we said at the beginning, the United fans would be expecting a goal from John Tudor. My goodness, they've got it very early. Reese. Chance. Tudor again with the second one. John Tudor, two goals. Trying to find a position there. Oh, he's got it. Curry's got it. That's another one. Very easy. John Tudor. To Farrell. Going to lose that, yes. Wags, uh, Wagstaff. Woodward. That's it. Number four. Alan Woodward, no trouble at all. Dumping that home. There seems to be plenty of space there. One has a feeling of it that when you've had experience in the game, you begin to feel these things. There it is. Entries the score. All fallen bodies of Barry. Carlton. As well, that could be dangerous. Law's there. A loose player is Morgan. Law. That's it. The Watford defence giving Law the kind of room no player can be allowed, and especially Dennis Law. Tom Wally. Wally again. Williams. Oh, it. Endine, a chance for Endine. And he took it really well. Scullion. Wally outside him. Took a defender with him too. 
Wally. Green there in the middle, also Lees and Owen. Lees. So the substitute gets the goal that should ensure two points for Watford. And I would think that the uh, Watford supporters and the club feel that uh, every moment they spend in getting a pitch ready for this match and how hard they've worked, worthwhile. Oh, and there's a chance here for Story. What a good goal that was. While they were still all gasping from the Watford goal, Story's put Rotherham right back in the match. Story. Wally to Eddie, or rather Owen. It's Wally making ground all the time down that left side. What a good game Wally's had. Green having a fair old battle with that defence. Owen. Lee! What a good goal again. Lee's second goal. A simple cross would have done better then because he got two or three players running into position at the far post. Wally. Green's up front, Lees is up front as well. Oh, yes! What a good goal! Fennell never moved. Wally. Scully and breaking. How... Good recovery and a good turn by Scullion. Hale! Number five! Made by the sheer persistence of Sean Scullion. Good play by John Toshak. And a lovely bit of play by Bird. And the long one dangerous and it's there! Ronnie Bird, number 11. A deft, dexterous bit of play. And Ronnie Bird, number 11, with a fine effort, deceiving goalkeeper Barron, has put Cardiff into the lead. Some 16 minutes gone on the clock. Shuka, the fullback. Carver, a good ball to Clark, Clark in here with a chance, and it's there, yes it's there, number eight, Brian Clark, the scorer, wing half Sutton and the Cardiff crowd, staring it a little bit, to Barry Jones, a chance here and it's there, header by Toshak, number 10, a superb header, an indicative, I think, of the caps that this man is going to get for Wales in the future. A beautiful soaring climb by number 10, John Toshak, and Cardiff lead by three goals to nil. Jones with the corner, and it's there! There, John Toshak and one or two of the little boys coming on. The ball with Ronnie Bird still holding beautiful control. Reversing in field to Clark. And there it is, number eight, Brian Clark. And I've never seen such excitement on a football field for a long time.
Morgan. And everybody in trouble. It's Charlton! Bobby Charlton has scored! Best! What a beautiful goal! Georgie Best! Oh, beautifully played by Hurst. That looked as though it must go out. Redknapp, he's got Hurst free on his right. This is Hurst. And now Sissons. Oh, goal! By Sissons! And that all... Oh, Evans finding Hunt. And indeed, then finding Callaghan. Going past Boyce. A beautiful little chip. Hunt! And a goal! Kid. Best. Law, best. Law. Oh, it's been in that goal. Morgan. Best. That's it. This is best. Styles. Trying to work a position. Best. Taken by Ron Harris. In fact, he's leaving it. Webb! <laughs> Perfectly flighted by Bobby Tampling for David Webb to put Chelsea one in front. Webb, who got the decisive goal against Preston two rounds back, scores another important one. Fraser. Love it. Hey. Bobby Hope. Astle backing onto Dempsey there, very effectively too. Tony Brown, number four. The equaliser. This is Osgood. Virginal. Tamplin trying to fight his way through. now with a set of for a quick break it's Brown Astle in the middle there's Astle that's it and Jeff Astle gets the second goal for the cup holders want a kick and welcome once again to Roy McFarlane and here's number five and the Blackpool defence standing still it's number 9 O'Hare who's got it oh McFarlane that's a fine goal what beautiful football well taken by Creran it's uh, beautifully taken off his foot too by Coleman now Summerby and Fitzpatrick together. He's in trouble. Summerby and a goal. Mike Summerby puts City into the lead with 38 minutes of the match gone. And that's his first goal since September the 21st against Sunderland. And it's really worth looking at again. Bobby Moore, eh oui. Malheureusement, à chaque fois, c'est un anglais. 
toujours les Anglais. Tente, oh, que c'est dangereux, la balle n'est pas perdue, O'Grady. Alors que la balle est passée devant Cardus, qui n'était plus protégé. Cooper, Bobby Moore, le capitaine. Oh, c'est oh, le but, Norvé Ponel, Loubet, ah, attaqué par Cooper, Cooper qui réussit à servir O'Grady en position des liés gauche. Francis lui, attention, c'est dangereux, lui s'en casse dans la défensive et là Oh, quel but merveilleux Merveilleux but de Francis Lee Oh, quel joueur Quel joueur 31 verts. Ah oui, il semble que le maire a été sévère là dans sa charge sur Colin Bell. Penalty, et je crois que c'est encore Hurst qui a déjà marqué deux buts. Deux sur quatre, il va encore tirer ce penalty, oui. Ah le pauvre Carnus. Et but de Hurst, cinquième but. Cinquième but anglais marqué par Hurst. I was touching the ball after about two minutes, the players just lifted and uh, it's, it's fantastic, fantastic atmosphere. Actually it was another Portuguese side, Vitorio Setubal, who slid to a 5-1 defeat, but no mistake about the young Robson's two goals. Tabling to take the corner kick. Chelsea have got 11 men back. Dunn to Morgan. And there's James. He scored. Oh, that's the way to go on the blind side of them. 31 minutes and Steve James. Not a soul in the world saw him. That is a wonderful tackle. Rogers bringing it out of defense for Swindon. Lovely play. And there to take the return. Good play by Rogers. Oh, and a terrible mix up. Noble. Simpson. Smart. And goal. What a terrible mistake by Arsenal. of all people. Graham, 
Now cooled off in support. Can Kuhl get to it now? It's a goal by Kuhl! And my goodness, is he not pleased with life? Bobby Kuhl! Oh, what a smile! Well, we've got just about to the end of this period of extra time. And it's a brave man who put his money on a winner of this game. It's still so very even and so very, very close. Very nearly through. Rogers! A goal by Rogers! Don Rogers! And you're now for Arsenal. And smart away for Swindon. Rogers is streaking ahead and he's onside. Baxter to take the free kick, he might well try a shot. Oh, a fine goal! And it's scored by the centre forward, the number nine, Colin Hall, his second goal of the season. Oh, it's, it's a goal! And he's upset Osborne, who jumped in the air and completely missed it. Uh, Lyons, I think, touched it. Gentleman Jim Baxter, they call him. He's now floating this one against the wind. Oh, it's... Oh! Scored by Hilling. And so it's a corner to Manchester City. Booth is on the Everton goal line. Bell again at that near post. Perhaps to flick it on. Here comes the corner. Doyle going for it. Summerby! Booth! A goal! Tommy Booth! Manchester City playing very, very confidently. Summerby, Doyle, Oakes, Oakes moving it forward. Bow, yeah, it's a good shot. That's the goal, Colin Bell. This is Dobing. Eastham, Marsh, Marsh, it's in the goal. Summerby, and it's going to be a penalty, this is Mike Doyle going to take the kick, 25 minutes of play gone, Doyle, and it's an easy one, Manchester City 2, Summerby on, and a beautiful goal by Bobby Aaron, that was well taken indeed. Scott Beamish is down the middle. Help there from Roland. This is Roland making space well, Roland. Chance for a shot for him. Oh, and a very good effort, Roland. Rather looked as though Ironside dived over it a bit, but Roland took that very well, making space very nicely to give Tranmere the lead in the third minute of the match. Robson seemingly at the start of every Barnsley attack at the moment. This is Booth. Robson, good running by him. Lloyden is in the middle. That's Coombs' ball! Oh, an own goal! An own goal by Moorcroft! I'm rather, an own goal by King, I should say. Two together there. Scott, who faded after getting a knock. 
Good return ball for McNamee. King. Oh! And seemed to bite the dust right in front of Arnside. And uh, Arnside clearly at fault with that. But it seemed to hit something just in front of him. Maybe it was his fingertips to give Tranmere the lead at the 33rd minute of the match. Win Stanley wanting Smith 10 yards. If a player can't lift it over that sort of distance, he ought not to be playing professional football. Dean on the turn. Leiden. Whoa, beautifully knocked down. What a goal scored by uh, Earnshaw rushing in, I think it was. Hunt almost lost his arm then. Knowles being spoken to by the referee as Smith prepares to take the free kick. Hunt! He's got it! That's his 300th goal! And the crowd rise, the players applaud. Brian Bromley chased all the way by Hoy, and Hoy really does get through some chasing in an afternoon, but now it's Tony Taylor. Off for Cliff Jackson, but Harris is there as well, the chance for Jackson! They score! Snowden. Colin Taylor, now Kemble off in chase, hand is with him. Still Kemba. Oh, beautiful goal! 25 minutes gone in the second half, and Kemba has scored a superb goal. Former England amateur international goalkeeper John Jackson really developed into a very fine one now. And one very good reason why Palace have conceded only seven goals in their last 11 games. John Jackson. Shabilko setting Jennings away very dangerously. And there it is. Nick Jennings. And no one would be more delighted to get into the first division than this man on the ball at the moment, Roger Hoy. After so long at Spurs without ever making very much impact. It's Hoy again. He's still there with a chance. Handball! And a penalty. John Sewell. And it's now! The ball to Davis. Gibbs coming up. Penalty! Penalty! Gibbs brought down by James. So it's a penalty to Newcastle United. And Robson missed a penalty on Wednesday. Newcastle's last big match. And Robson's gone goal. So Newcastle United going to the lead. One goal to nil. We get to Newcastle United. Foggin. Davis inside him. It's a goal. He's scored. He's scored on the goal. And he's hit. Alan Foggan. Quarter of an hour gone. Samuels. And Bates bringing it away. And now the chase is on. Your versus Jones. And Jones is winning it. Beautiful goal by Mick Jones! What a magnificent goal by Jones for Leeds United! And Bremner acting as the peacemaker, telling Graham to get away from Hunter and Hunter to get away from Graham. Here comes that free kick, Armstrong going in, Graham! 
George Bell! Certainly Leeds are often exploiting this long ball, looking for the speed of Jones. Perhaps feeling that you're maybe a little bit vulnerable to the pace of uh, Mick Jones. There goes another one, testing this time the speed of Ewer against Johnny Giles, and almost there! It's there! Almost a complete repetition of that first goal in the League Cup final against Swindon. A misunderstanding by Ian Ewer, poor dejected Ewer. Lee, Young, and a goal! Müller, Müller! Einmal Mörder. Jetzt kommt er zum Schuss. Giles, again being forced to play it across the line of the defense, and the defense retreats into the penalty area. calcio di punizione in favore dei campioni d'Italia corto Snelling verso Trappattoni intervenzione di Trappattoni toccato fuori aria da Fulz ripreso però da Lodetti Trappattoni sul corso di Trappattoni Amrin anticipato da Stiles colpo di testa di Sormani poi di Fulz poi tiro di Sormani doppio tiro di Sormani il primo è stato respinto da Fulz sul secondo Sormani ha fatto centro il Milan è in vantaggio al 33esimo minuto ecco abbiamo rivisto abbiamo rivisto il gol di Sormani lunga rincorsa di Prati che nel primo tempo ha tirato una bella punizione parata dal portiere Amrin, deviazione miracolosa di Kirkpatrick rimette la palla in avanti Lodetti Fogli, traversone al centro dell'aria finta di Prati, fino di iniziata da Lodetti sul cross di Lodetti una astuta finta di Prati ha consentito ad Amrin di tirare sulla sinistra del portiere 2 a 0 per il Milan e il terzo minuto del secondo tempo the first time we've seen Summerby moving inside not being on this right touch line and Summerby moved inside It's Woolett with him. Summerby back to Young. It's there. And it's a goal. Scored by Young. Made by Summerby. 23 minutes gone. Ball being organized by McMordy. Lining him up for Jennings. Lee. Peters. And there it is. Martin Peters. gone and rather against the run of the play after some very spirited and dangerous Irish football Martin Peters from a dead ball situation putting England one goal into the lead aimed at you know who 
Derek Dugan, of course. There it goes. There's Dugan going for it and getting it. Best. And it's there. Off Irvine. Still Lee. And there it is by Lee. So a goal for Lee in his second successive international. One against France last month. The Irish crowd are not very happy about it, but a penalty it is. Hurst is going to take it. And remember, in England's last match, Hurst scored twice from the penalty spot against France. with a penalty almost saved but it's there that really was a good piece of work by Jennings to get as far as he did toward that ball but it was England 3-1 up so another quarter of Scotland McNeil still up this is going towards Gilzine McNeil now there it is a bad mistake by Sprague, though, coming out for that ball, failing to get it. And McNeil given time enough. Here it is. Cook. John Gregg, we haven't seen much of him so far. Bobby Murdoch. And Steen, look at the space for Steen. Oh, there it is, number two. Terrible defensive play by Wales again. 2-0 to Scotland. Now Durban. Derrick outside him. Looking for Ron Davis and Toshak. Ron Davis! Ron Davis! Bremner's the man that Scotland will be looking for now to fire them with something that will produce a match-winning goal now. Gemmell. Here's Bremner. Cook. And another one. So a goal by Murdoch, by Gilzine. By Gilzine. corner to Wales Barry Jones to take it Wynne Davis arm aloft looking for a long floating centre and Wynne Davis a beautiful beautiful goal there by Ron Davis superb goal here it comes and so Lawrence on his way to hospital with suspected concussion that's why Jim Herriot of Birmingham is in the Scotland goal here's the corner for Scotland Murdoch and Bremner oh a lovely little handstand by Billy Bremner I think there was a little bit of luck about this Murdoch missed his shot he waited for it to drop hit it on the half volley and missed it completely Charlie Cook Charlie Cook and McLean, there it is, number five. Well, this was a chance for Charlie Cook to show his magic. We've been waiting for it all the game. And here's one of his special dribbles through the middle of the field. Watch the way. And in the end, he slots the ball through beautifully and leaves Tommy McLean McLear of the whole defence. And all that he has to do is to drive it hard and low past the goalkeeper's feet. Astle harassed from behind all the time by Burton. Now Barry Jones for Wales. Rodrigues up there again. Ron Davis looking for this one, getting in. There you go! Ron Davis!
17 and a half minutes gone. And the threat that we all knew existed in practice put Wales ahead. Ron Davis. Bobby Moore finding Lee. Still lead to Bobby Charlton. Bobby Charlton! He's there! Bobby Charlton! Bell to Bobby Charlton. And a beautiful ball to Bell. Spraker slipped. Astle going in! He's there! Francis Lee! Hurt is alone up front at the moment. Newton. Good running there by Peters. Beautiful running. And that's it. And Peters once more has scored an important goal for England. And he made it by running intelligently from a deep position. The Scottish defence had no cover there at all. This is great. Now the phone. Charlton. Hurst and Lee running up front. That's Lee. Oh, and the defender exposed himself then. Hurst. Number two. The defence. Gray. Good piece of football by Gray, wasn't it? Steen. So beautiful. That was a real collector's piece, and the boy who made it was Eddie Gray. A wonderful feint. Put himself. So it's going to be Jeff Hurst with the penalty. With the penalty is scored against Northern Ireland. Last week he put it to the goalkeeper's right and does so again. The goalkeeper went the wrong way actually slightly. So 15 minutes to the second half gone. Her second goal of the match and England's third. In the second half, but now it's England on the attack once more. Alan Ball to lead. Peters. again brilliant football Charlton yeah! have you ever seen a scene like that Manchester United are alive again foul and Brian Robson there in the foreground is giving this defence an awful lot of trouble both on the ground and in the air. In tight positions he's very quick. Gibb with a kick. Wynn Davis got a real chance. Ground have got no chance of turning for that, but it's Moncur again for Newcastle. Keeping this defence under pressure all the time. Moncur. And goal, the second goal. And the Hungarian put back there and working. Ghosted his way through there extremely well. This is Robson. Cut out by Nushko. A Scott. Aaron Toft. Scott still going. That's a goal and a good one. Again, Scott the scorer. Let's go to your team in the Newcastle.
Newcastle half. It's really building up this attack. This is Ben A. Eddie Dunoy. Flick through. And Del Dunoy. It's Ben A. It's Ben A with the possession. To the net. Ben A has scored. Ben A given too much time there. Well, here, after 30 minutes of play in the first half, Terence Bene has scored the first goal for We Best Georgia. Well, Monka beating him. This is Jackie Sinclair. Another good one. Eddie Dunai. That's a good ball. Gorosh. Gorosh going through fast. Goes for the shot. It's in the goal. A beautiful goal. Gorosh went straight through there. And nobody made a tackle. McCall had no chance at all. That's 2 0 to Weepe Stoja. And so, in this opening minute of the second half, Bobby Monker has gone onto the line. There's the cross. Davis is there, and it's blocked away. Comes back to Singtel, in the game. Monker, and Monker scored! That's Monker again! Fantastic! Monker only scored uh, two goal competitive goals for Newcastle. In the first leg, those were the two goals they scored, and here he is, the captain of Newcastle United, has done it again. Kaposta slipping on the turf, which must now be uh, rather slippery, I would say. Come out to Scott. Scott with a chance. Scott with a shot. Ben Arentoff, it's a goal, a lovely goal! Newcastle have equalised. What a great shot by Ben Arentoff. Got the rebound. And after Newcastle United, a very desultory round of applause as Newcastle United equalised the score. McFall. Davis winning that one in the air. Foggan going through the centre. Foggan all by himself. Foggan almost taken down. And Foggan has hit the crossbar. He scored! Foggan has scored. Aaron Foggan, the substitute, who came on, made a brilliant run. Hit the ball, sent Mahali, saved it, and he got the rebound. So young Alan Fogger, 19 years of age, an England youth international, has put Newcastle United in the lead, and that is... Now Peters. And we've got three men in the middle. And a great chance, a goal scored by Bell. He scored it, a dreadful mistake by that Brazilian defence, and Bell has scored for England. <laughs> En Televisión Independiente de México, todo puede suceder. Gerson cambia el juego por el extremo derecho, buscando la intervención de Carlos Alberto. Este con problemas allá, a Clodo Aldo. Balón para el área, busca Pelé, entra tosado, para el suelo, remata. Alberto llega también él a la pelota, se pinta, brinca completamente. 